Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I have the brand new Fantasy Cosmetica Warlock palette. Also, they came out with five lip oils with this collection and a fragrance. So we are gonna test all of these things out today. I'm going to link this collection down below in the description box because I'm pretty sure when I post this video, it is either the day that it is available or it's already available. So I will link it down below in the description box. Also, everything that's on my face in both looks will be there as well. And if you enjoy this video while you're watching it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like indie makeup, definitely consider subscribing because we do a lot of that over here. They were so kind as to give a little flyer with a ton of information. So of course I'm gonna put timestamps down below in the description box if you wanna skip around. I usually give a little bit of background on the collection and then I go into the looks. So check the description box for basically anything you may need, it's gonna be there. So I first should start by saying Fantasy Cosmetica is a fantasy gaming, fantasy realm based indie brand. So they are doing the Warlock collection now. This is a Warlock has joined your party. Warlocks are spellcasters and fighters who acquire knowledge, magic, and abilities through packs made with more powerful beings. This collection will be launching on September 27th at 9 a.m. PST. The Warlock collection includes an eyeshadow palette, five lip oils, and a perfume. These products are vegan and were not tested on animals. Made in China, shipped from Redmond, Washington, US. The palette will retail for $38.99. Let me show you the palette. So this is what the cover looks like. Super pretty. They have stepped up their packaging artwork, making it a little more vibrant, which I love. And then here is the inside. So, so beautiful. It's very jewel toned. It's very fall, winter to me. I love, love the different, more like muted pops of color. I love greens. So I'm all about the greens here. So very excited to dip into this. It retails for $38.99. The lip oils, there are five of them, are $12.49 each. And I will say, these lip oils are very pigmented. I only just swatched them on my arm, but they, as you can see in the swatches, are very pigmented. So if you like a pigmented lip oil, this may be the lip oil collection for you. I have not put them on my lips, but I will lip swatch all of them. Get ready for that. And then they're also doing singles. So $4.99 for single matte shadows, $9.99 for single duo or multi-chrome shadows. And they've started doing perfumes and they just launched a Warlock perfume. I am not a perfume connoisseur, okay? I rarely find perfumes that I like, first off, and even more rarely that I find a perfume that I actually want to wear. <laughs> so take my perfume review, if you will, with a grain of salt, because I'm, I'm very picky when it comes to perfume. There are four different options for the fragrance. For $2.29, you can get a one milliliter coconut oil-based sample, or you can get a 10 milliliter coconut oil-based roll-on for $16.99. Those are both available to ship worldwide. And then there is a 10 milliliter alcohol-based spray for $16.99 and a 30 milliliter alcohol-based spray for $32.99. And those are only available to ship within the continental US, I'm sure because of laws or whatever. So I don't know which one it is that I got. I have no idea. I'm assuming this is the 10 milliliter alcohol-based spray. That's my guess. So you get a little slip of paper that tells you what the notes are. Again, absolutely means nothing to me personally. <laughs> These are the notes. Top notes, pink peppercorn, basil, mint leaf, plum, and grapefruit. Heart notes, black rose, cilantro, white eucalyptus, and cumin. And the base is vetiver grass, oak moss, patchouli, labdenum, and vanilla. It is very... It's very grassy. Like it's very earthy, if that makes sense. I don't know that I would be wearing this. It's not really a scent I love on me but it is nice. Like I will use this for like a room spray. It's definitely very earthy. It gives me winter vibes actually. That probably meant absolutely nothing and was not helpful at all. I also did get the Sorcerer scent, which they did ask if I wanted to be sent this. And this one I think smells really good. It smells 
very summery. It did spill, so I'm not trying to touch it right now, but it smells like a pina colada, straight up like a pina colada. So this is the Sorcerer fragrance, and the top notes are passion fruit, bitter orange, sugared lime, and patanga. The heart notes are pink pineapple, pineapple nectar, coconut, and mango blossom, and the base notes are vanilla, sugar, musk, and sweet melon. I can absolutely smell the coconut and the pineapple. Like it smells and the lime smells great. Okay, so I'm gonna send you off to look number one first. And I did receive this whole collection in PR from Fantasy Cosmetica. So thank you so much, Fantasy Cosmetica, for sending this my way. I really, really appreciate it. If I hadn't received this collection in PR, I definitely would have bought the palette and maybe one or two of the lip oils. But I'm gonna show you one look with the palette and then I will do a second look. And at the end, I will give you my initial thoughts. This is not a review. I'm not going to be able to give my final thoughts until I use the palette more than twice. I will put it in a palette ranking in the future, but I can at least give you a little bit of inspo if you want to pick up this palette, if you want to shop your stash, hopefully I can give you some inspo. And let me know in the comments, are you planning on picking this up? Are you gonna skip? Do you love Fantasy Cosmetica? I've only ever used one palette from the brand, the Rogue palette, and I absolutely loved the quality. I thought it was so beautiful. And I did purchase their last palette, which is the Fighter palette, but I have yet to use it. I know, it's a problem. But all that to say, I really enjoy the formula. So I'm gonna send you off to look number one now. Because I'm wearing this like dark blue t-shirt, I kind of want to play with this lower row, which I'm not a blue girl, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. But first for a transition shade, I'm actually gonna go into the shade Packed. This more like baby puke, baby poop kind of color, which I love. And I'm just gonna put this through the crease. I have already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. That color is so pretty, so, so pretty. While I'm at it, I'm actually just gonna run that underneath my lower lash line as well. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the shade Eldritch right here, which is like a blue slash purple, if you will. And I'm just gonna place this in the crease as well as the outer corner. So this is why I never do my face makeup first. I brought the blue way too far down and far out than I usually would. So just ignore that. I'll try to fix it or, you know, it just, it's gonna end up looking wonky. What can I do? I'm also gonna put that shade underneath my eye as well. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Occult right here and just put this on the very outer corner of my eye. It looks like a gray almost, like a super dark gray. I'm also gonna add that to my lower lash line. I'm gonna put the NYX Glitter Primer all over my lid. Now I'm gonna take the shade Offering here and put this all over the lid. Fantasy Cosmetica shimmers are so beautiful. Mm. Look at that, oh my goodness. Absolutely gorgeous. Just to get a little more precise, I'm gonna get that same shade offering on a brush and spray it and just kind of get it all the way into my inner corner. And I think I actually wanna take some of that shade and run it on my lower lash line, just for funsies. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna use that shade Packed. I may have to go in with a matte white on top just to make it a little brighter just because I like a really bright inner corner highlight. Yeah, I am gonna have to go in with a matte white over it, but at least I have this color peeking through. Ooh, this look is fierce. What do you think? Mm, I think it came out so, so good. I, you know what? It's not super blue. It is more of like a dark, deep, smoky blue. I, I really love, I love it. I love it. I do wanna put this one on. This is Demon. It's like black and sparkly, like multicolored glitters in there. I just have Charlotte Tilbury's iconic nude on my lips. They smell really good, like fruity. And when I put them on my arm, they felt a very interesting texture, almost jelly-like. Let's see. Look at that. Jeez. Oh. They feel really nice. And they're very pigmented, as you can see. That's fun, that's really fun. This is such an interesting formula. It's not like any other lip oils I've tried. It's very jelly-like, almost like, like a lip balm. 
sort of texture. And I really can't see the sparkle. I really can't see the sparkle, but as you can see over the lip liner, you definitely can see that black tint. All right. Okay, so this is the finished look number one. I wanna hear your thoughts. I, I love it. I think it came out so pretty. I love that sparkly lid shade that's like deep and smoky and pulling in that chartreuse was really fun. So yeah. I'm happy with this. So we are gonna go on to look number two next. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I have to think on it. All of these look so beautiful. I wanna swatch this shade Ritual. It looks like a multi-chrome. Oh yeah. That is like liquid chrome. All the shimmers from Fantasy Cosmetica are just beautiful. So anyway. I'm gonna send you off to look number two now. All right, so we're gonna do our second look with the Warlock palette. We're gonna go into the shade Profane, this lime green. I'll be honest with you, it did not swatch the best. So I'm actually gonna use this more as like a transition shade. So as you can see, it's really a sheer color, but that's also because I used a fluffy brush and I put it through my crease, but that's what I was looking for. If you wanted more payoff, you probably wanna go in with a smaller brush that's a little more dense, but this is what I wanted because I'm a baby and I can't do any look without a transition shade. I'm next gonna go in with the shade Power, this really pretty pink, and I'm gonna place this a little bit lower I wanna deepen it up a little bit with the shade Eldritch here, that bluish purple. I'm gonna put the NYX Glitter Primer all over the lid. I wanna go in with this beautiful shimmer shade Patron. I almost just said Patron. It's seven in the morning. I don't know why I'm thinking about tequila, but it is a beautiful pink to green duochrome. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. Might be a multi-chrome because I also see blue in there too. That is beautiful. Oh, my, look at that shimmer. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go put on some face makeup. I will be right back so we can finish up the eyes together. And I'm gonna lip swatch all of the lip oils. Let's finish up the lower lash line together. I'm gonna take this little tiny brush. I'm gonna go into the deepest shade Eldritch and just blend that onto my lower lash line. I'm actually gonna spray it because I did just get some fallout and I don't want blue, purple eyeshadow under my eye. I'm gonna take a Blend Bunny pencil brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Power, that really pretty pink, and just blend that out. I'm gonna take that same shade just on a fluffier blending brush just to diffuse the edges. I'm gonna put ColourPop's Charmer in the waterline. So this is the finished eye look number two. What do you think? I think it came out so, so pretty. Love it. I love that I was able to create more of like a softer pinky look and that shimmer out of this world. So let's get to the lip swatch portion of this video. I forgot to show you the actual unit carton that the lip oils come in. It's just a very kind of simple, sleek unit carton, black, and then it has the name of the shade on the front. It has the name of the shade on the top, and then it has all of the ingredients on the back. So love that. I'm gonna swatch them in alphabetical order. So we're gonna start with Ancient One, which is this really pretty deep purple. I'm just gonna swatch them on my bare lips. A whole lot of product comes out on the applicator. Mmm, they feel really nice. This one smells like grape. Mmm, that's really cool. It, you don't really come across a grape flavored or grape scented lip product. Just blending it in with my finger. We're not gonna pay attention to the application because it's not gonna be good, but. This is the shade Ancient One. Even when I take the lip oil off, I can still feel a really like moisturizing feel to my lips, which is nice. All right, the next shade is Arch Fee. I have no idea if I'm saying that right or what that is, but this one is a like metallic green. This one smells like some kind of fruit that I'm not sure I can place. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
This one looks pretty much clear. Next we have Demon, which I did wear in the first look, but I do wanna swatch it just on my bare lips. I'm gonna do a second layer just to see if I can build it up. Yeah, so if I add a second layer, you can definitely see the black tint much more. This one has a fruity scent too, but I'm not good at <laughs> identifying scents, obviously. This is way better than lip swatching like matte liquid lipsticks. <laughs> my lips would be crying right now, but my lips feel quite nice. Next is Efreet. And this one is one without sparkle and it's like an orangey brown. It smells fruity, but I don't know what it smells like. <laughs> Maybe mango-y? So that's Efreet. And then last but not least, we're gonna do the bright red, which is called Fiend. Ooh, look how pigmented that is. It smells so good. Oh yeah. It's almost like a lip lacquer, but I did try to like rub it out with my fingers and it did shear it out a little bit, but this is Fiend. Okay, so this is the finished look with the lip. All I did was I lined and filled in my lips with Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. And then I just put like a pretty thin layer of Ancient One on top. So it gave a little bit of a purple tint. So what do I think about this collection just off my first impression? Not a review. I mean, I did use almost every single shade in the palette. I just didn't use these two top shimmers, but I am gonna continue to use this palette and I will put it in a palette ranking in the future just to give you my final thoughts at that point. But I feel like this is good quality shadows that I expect from the brand. I've only ever tried one other palette from the brand before and I think the formula is consistent. I really like the shimmers a lot. They are super impactful, super shiny, dimensional. If you like a subtle shimmer that's barely there, you probably wouldn't like these. But if you really like very vibrant shimmers, you would like these. The mattes are good. I would say this lime green is the one that I'm kind of like, mm, I have to try to play with it, see how I like it. It's not super pigmented, like even just feeling it, it is a little bit sheerer, but all of the other mattes I had absolutely no issues with at all whatsoever. I think the lip oils are fun. They are definitely very pigmented. You are able to sheer them out, but I will say they are quite pigmented to start with. So if you are looking for a pigmented lip oil, these are good, especially the ones that don't have sparkle. Those are the ones that are the most pigmented. The ones with the sparkle, I feel like are a little bit sheerer. So as you could see in the lip swatches, maybe these are the ones you would go for if you want a sheerer application. They feel very nice on the lips, very unique texture, and they feel very moisturizing. Like even after wiping them off, they feel nice on the lips. And then I already kind of gave you my thoughts on the fragrance. I'm not a fragrance girly, I'll be honest with you. So take that with a grain of salt. But now I wanna hear from you. Are you gonna pick up this collection? Anything in the collection? Some things? Are you skipping on it? What are your thoughts? I would love to hear them down in the comments because I always love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.